The Modevit Pro software version 4.3 features a new Image Tools panel. The Image Tools provides a user with more control over the color management and applying changes selectively only to desired part of an image. The improved interface has an instant before and after preview which allows convenient image comparison. The user can choose between a dual view or a slider split view. At the top bar, the user will find various selection tools such as Magic Wand, Polygon, Rectangle, or Ellipse selection tool. The selection can be added when holding down the Shift key or subtracted when holding down the Alt key on Windows or Option key on Mac. Holding down the Control key will make a perfect square or a perfect circle when using Ellipse selection tool. To cancel the selection, the user needs to right-click and press the Clear option or simply press the Escape key. The selection can be also inverted. In, in other words, inverting the selection will select an area of an image which has not been selected originally. One of the very useful features is that a user can save a current selection. For example, this is to prevent the loss of the selection in case the user cleared the selection by an accident. The user can also adjust the tolerance or sensitivity of the magic wand. The Image Tools provides a user with more control over the color management and applying changes selectively only to desired part of an image. The Feather function softens the edges of the selection. The editing tools can be selected from the drop-down menu on the right side of the Image Tools panel. The Beautify tool is an image filter which smooths out the texture of the product. For example, the filter can be used to reduce any amount of visible scratches and imperfections of the jewelry. The filter can be applied selectively to specific area of an image. For example, the user can use a polygon selection tool and select the part of an image where the filter is going to be applied. The Colorize filter allows the user to apply any color to an image again selectively or globally. The color wheel diagram determines what color range will be affected by the filter. In other words, the user can select the color range which is going to be replaced with the new color. The new color can be set and adjusted with the three sliders below. The first slider changes the hue of the color. The second slider controls the saturation, making the color more or less vibrant. And the third slider simply adjusts the brightness. Alternatively, the user can enter the hex code or click the thumbnail and pick the color from the color dialog. The colors can be saved and arranged in groups for future use. The groups can be easily created, named or deleted. Each group can contain unlimited number of color values which can be also edited or removed at any time. The Colorize filter can be a great time saver if we have a series of products with different color variations. We can photograph first product, 
make a copy of it and edit the colors accordingly to match other color variants. No need to shoot every product. The hue and saturation tool allows the user to edit the specific color of an image. In the opposite to colorize filter, the hue and saturation tool does not apply a new color, but it only allows to edit the existing colors of the product. The color wheel is divided into six primary and secondary colors. Each color can be selected and edited individually. The selection on the color wheel can be freely adjusted. If the end result isn't good, the user can adjust the coverage of the color range by expanding or narrowing down the highlighted shape of the color wheel. The color wheel also features the blending option, which can be enabled by dragging the blue point handles on the both sides. The blending option creates a smooth gradual transition of the color which the user has selected on the color wheel diagram. Each color can be edited selectively with no impact on the other colors. The color wheel shows which colors have been changed and it also tells the user what is the new color that has been applied. The reset button at the top cancels the adjustments and changes of currently selected color. If the user does not pick the color range on the wheel diagram, the color adjustments will be applied to entire image. The Image Tools panel has three saving options to maximize the workflow effectiveness. The Save option saves and overrides the current image file. The Save As option creates a new copy on the computer disk and the new copy replaces the current image file in the Image Tool panel. The Save Copy option creates a new copy on the computer disk but the current image file remains opened in the Image Tools panel. The Restore Original button resets all image tools adjustments and brings the user back to original state of an image.